Hello and welcome. It is the evening of the ninth day of uh, March 2019. My name is Derek and welcome to the Money Charts channel. All bets, trades of the like within each his own risk reward. But I'm, I'm basically going over how I see the market, how I'm calculating things, what I'm doing, yada, 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 that kind of stuff. Price action for DGB is 329. It's, it's approaching a sell area for me. I hope this thing get up to 340-ish soon and then I can sell some turn into Litecoin. I'll talk a little bit about that as I've been uh, making my biggest cross, DGB, that developed against LTC. So what I would do is I would sell some DGB for Litecoin. I recently, when it uh, hit this uh, lower level, just real recent days, I ended up uh, buying DGB for Litecoin. Of course, this isn't the cross. I don't have that available at me at this time. But within Bitcoin, it's, it's going up to uh, 329 on the Satoshi level. And as I've stated in this video, why I think it's going over a dollar, I'm not, not going to say that now, but yeah, I think it's going to a dollar. Of course, this is crossed against Bitcoin. So what does this mean here? This means a lot, at least in my view. On February 24th, coming up to this 303 level, uh, back down to this level of resistance, back down here, back up again, back up again two days ago, breaking yesterday, finding support at that level today, and now it's at highs not seen in quite some time. Weekly chart. Well, that quite some time is this green line, which represents uh, Thanksgiving area. U.S. Thanksgiving, that is. For Canadian Thanksgiving is a month before. I'm not too sure if any other countries even have that holiday. But I, I don't care about holidays when I'm talking about technical analysis. That's just date time frame. So it's attempting to revert the trend. It's establishing a level of resistance. How much higher can it go? I mean, 366, whatever. I mean, it, it's live at this stage. It can go so sickly high. We could see it at 600 and more. Who knows? And maybe it's topping right now. I don't know. But regardless of when it does top, it's establishing a level of resistance. And this 18 average hold is going to be very, very important. Right now on the monthly term time frame, 253 area, is where the newly flattening 18 average is going to be and if price action doesn't really fall too much it's, it's going to start to rise as will the 18 average of highs all right so monthly chart there's really this it's just it's been really really high before okay that's just good to know that the volatility is most certainly that of live i'm not gonna uh yes i am I was going to say I'm not going to calculate any Fibonacci upside, but that's how I calculate the going to the dollar when I get to the U.S. dollar time frame. Man, how much do I want to calculate this high? Let's take a look back at the daily chart and see how relevant that thousand number is and see what the relevant high might be. And it's not relevant at all for what I'm looking to calculate. So I'm, just, I'm going to now cross this or switch this over against the U.S. fiat. And it's in at uh, 1.3 pennies, but, but this is an extremely big level. I don't need to put a line in. It's where the exact number is. It's uh, multiple hit resistance on this line. Hit it close a couple days here. One day here, it hit it and back again now today. Breaking out above this level. We're looking at this going to 2.2 cents, 2.3. But as far as the calculations, let's take a look at this on the weekly. On the weekly, this band is just flattening out basically more than anything. Uh, stopping of uh, this decline, but further momentum higher is establishing resistance. So going up to any of that two cents area, even 1.8 is establishing a level of resistance. Monthly chart. Okay, what I'm going to do is calculate some Fibonacci. And maybe I shouldn't have calculated from this high, but I did find this very interesting. I see a high at, I see like 256985. So let's just type that number in. But I'm going to just do decimals this way. So I'm going to see in here, okay, well, what was the low that it came back down to? And it would have been, uh, well, this low in here a few periods later, which I can see has 11458. which gave me a price objective to go to the next handle at the 17, which was uh, right in here, this level where it congested in this point, and it pierced above, uh, that's normal. So now let's do it again, and let's take this high in here, 
which is represented at 13.57 cents. And the most recent low in here, uh, 7.479 cents. That gives me up target around 81 cents. Which usually pierce, pierces extra, so that's why I think it's going to go above a dollar on a run, breaking above this. Most likely pierce well above it, 120, 150, even closer to two, two and a half. Probably come back and congest near an 80 cent level, pierce below it, which means probably coming back down to uh, anywhere from 50 cents back down to a dime. And then probably have a rally somewhat after that. But I'm, I'm talking like years and years when going into that move. I, I mean, I'm talking about the monthly term time frame. It takes 12 for a year. But anyway, this is the video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.